assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to the learn daily physics and as we discussed earlier in our emt we discussed four we tried four maxwell equations in thermodynamics we are not going to discuss discuss them here we are going to discuss maxwell equations in thermodynamics and today we will try them the four equations they were the four equation in emt now we are going to know about the four equations in thermodynamics so proceeding our lecture first we tried something in our previous lectures was enthalpy h which was equal to h was equal to u plus pv and gibbs free uh, helmholtz free energy f is equals to u minus ds you can write this u as e if you want and then gibbs free energy was equal to h minus ds these are the th three equation we already talked about now proceeding that as we know as we know first law of first law of thermodynamics as we know the first law of thermodynamics that uh, dq is equals to that dq is equals to du plus p dv this is our first law we've already dis described this one also so now for a reversible reaction we've talked about entropy what is an entropy entropy is equals to d s is equals to dq by t this dq will be equal to then dq will be equal to t d s okay now we are putting the value of this dq in this one equation this when we'll put this one in this this one equation this will equal to t d s is equals to d u plus p d v okay now we can rewrite rearrange this equation and it will be d u is equals to t d s minus p d v this one term goes here and it become d u is equals to t d s minus p d v we are going to name it as equation number 1 now for the first equation we have here for enthalpy now we will write that for enthalpy for enthalpy h is equals to u plus pv here for enthalpy h is equals to u plus p v now we will take the derivative of this equation and du or dh will be equals to du plus v d p plus p d v i have used the product rule here derivative of the first one second name one as it is then the derivative of second one first one as it is this was the product rule applied here now we are going to put the value of du from equation number 1 so you can see from equation number 1 dh will be equal to putting this value tds minus pdv plus vdp plus p d v this minus p d v and this plus p d v will be cancelled out and the thing we will have here is t d s plus v d p d h so we will not write this equation as equation number 2 okay here we have equation number 1 and here we have equation number 2 now we are going toward this equation f is equals to u minus ds for helmholtz free energy for 
एल मोड्स डी एनर्जी नाउ फॉर द हेल मोड्स फ्री एनर्जी वी नो दैट एफ इज इक्वल टू यू माइनस टी एस यू माइनस टी एस सो डी एफ विल बी इक्वल टू डी यू माइनस डी टी एस माइनस एस डी टी सो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी यू हेयर सो डी एफ विल बी इक्वल टू टी डी एस माइनस पी डी वी माइनस एस डी टी आई रिटर्न दिस ट्वाइस इट विल बी एस डी टी एंड देन डी एस एंड टी टी डी एस माइनस टी डी एस तो दिस प्लस टी डी एस विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट विथ माइनस टी डी एस एंड डी एफ विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस पी डी वी माइनस एस डी टी सो वी विल राइट दिस इक्वेशन विच वी ड्राइव हेयर एज डी एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी डी वी माइनस एस डी टी इक्वेशन नंबर Three. This will be our equation number three. So now we have derived our three equations: equation one, two, and three. These are the differential equations, and we have to describe another fourth equation from this equation. G is equals to h minus t s. So moving on toward our fourth equation, G is equals to g. Is equals to h minus t s. This equation here, when we apply a differential operator, so d of g will be equal to d of h minus d t s as it is. I will write it first. then minus t d s now from our equation we can we have already derived the value of d h here where is d h here it is equation number 2 so now from equation number 2 from equation number 2 From equation number two, d h is equals to t d s plus v d p. We will put this value of d h in, in this above equation. So d of g will be equal to t d s plus v d p minus s d t minus t d. S. This positive T D S and minus T D S will be cancelled out, and the D G will be equal to V D P minus S D T. This will be our fourth equation, equation number four. And now we will talk about another term, a general term. We have we suppose that we have a function z. depends upon z is a function which depends upon variable x and y so when we take the derivative of d of z it will be the partial z by partial x d of x plus partial z by partial y d of y and this will be this term will be m you already discussed this in mathematics for them in in the in your course of mathematical methods for physics or in partial differential equation you've also discussed this in ordinary differential equations m d of x plus n d of y 
and this equation will be equal to d is d of z so i will rewrite it d of z will be equals to m d of x plus n d of y if this equation here is exact if our equation number 5 is exact then partial m by partial y derivative of this m with respect to the variable of this term partial y will be equal to partial n by partial x okay and here the variable of this term here will be constant and the variable of this this term variable of this term will be constant here and uh, yes when we take the derivative with respect to this term this term will be constant here and when we take the this derivative of this term with respect to this 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 term this derivative will remain constant here okay so now this is an exact equation for exact equation partial m by partial y taking x as a constant is equal to the partial n by partial x taking y as constant so now we are going to compare these equations now you have to keep this equation equation number 5 in your mind and we are going to compare every equation i will rewrite this equation 1 2 and 3 and 4 this equation equation number 1 2 3 and this equation 4 on a place and then we are going to compare this from this equation from this exact equation to write so writing our first equation du is equals to du is equals to t t s minus p d v this is our first equation our second equation was d h is equals to t d s plus v d p our second equation was d f is equals to minus p d v minus s d t this was our third equation and the fourth equation was d g is equals to v d p minus s d t comparing this equation from this and uh, this one here that partial m by partial y x as a constant is equals to partial n by partial partial x taking y as constant and this is equals to d of z so d of z here so now here in equation 1 m will be t n will be p minus p and i will tell you i am going to write this du will be equals to from comparing equation number 5 and 1 this is the important part part you have to understand this from comparing equation 5 and 1 we can write that du is equals to here z here we have z and here we have u so du will be equals to here we have m m d of x for equation number 5 this was in the equation this was equation number 5 so here was the m and now for this equation 1 we have t so we can write this partial t derivative with respect to this term partial v taking this term constant s equals to partial n which is p here partial p derivative with respect to this term partial s taking v constant okay and we missed something it was minus p so we will have a minus sign here this was our equation number 6 okay 
this is our equation number 6 now comparing equation this equation 5 you can write this 5 a because we've already write wrote the equation 5 so comparing equation 5 a and 2 we will get dh will be equals to partial t by partial p taking s as a constant is equals to partial v by partial v by partial s taking p as a constant partial t by partial p taking s as a constant and partial v by partial n taking p as a constant this will be our equation number 7 now again comparing 5 and f d of f will be equal to these two are the maxwell equation another two will be driving i will drive now df will be equals to minus partial p by partial t taking v as a constant is equals to minus partial s by partial v taking t as a constant this minus will be cancelled out with this and this will be our equation number eight if if you want to rewrite this equation you can rewrite it now i'm going to solve our next equation last equation by comparing 5a equation number 5a with equation 4 so d of g will be equals to partial v with respect to partial t taking p constant equal to partial s minus partial s over partial p taking p as a taking t as a constant taking t as a constant partial p by partial t taking t as a constant here it is t not p p was here and t was here partial s by partial p taking t as a constant let me check it again partial v by partial t partial v by partial t taking p as a constant minus yes this is our equation last equation and these four equations equation number six 7, 8 and with this last equation, equation number 9 are called Maxwell equation. Equation 6, 7, 8 and 9 are called our Maxwell equations equation for thermo dynamics okay for thermodynamics so now we will use this equation in our next lecture we will use these four maxwell equations to drive the tds equation so see you in our next lecture our today's lecture is over now this was the most tricky thing in this lecture so thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum